It's a fact that a bear mauled and grounded an Alaskan aircraft. And these photos, before and after the duct tape patch-up, are genuine. But what caused the Mythbusters mailbox to overflow is the pilot's claim that he then flew the patched up plane home. Carrie, Grant and Tori are about to test just that. First we took our aircraft up just to see what it could do. That was awesome! Then turned myself into a grizzly bear just to see what sort of damage I could do. Now we've got a bunch of duct tape and we need to see if we can actually repair this plane and make it airworthy again. Because as things stand, just like the mythically mauled aircraft, it's definitely grounded. With this plane in this condition, would you try and fly it? Absolutely not. The first problem here is, is that we've lost our rudder, so I'm not going to have any directional control with the airplane. The good news is, is that we do have structural integrity, but the bad news is, is that the skin is gone and flapping in the breeze, creating drag. We've got this acting like a scoop. This is not going to fly straight. No directional control, compromised control surfaces, and uneven drag. All right, you guys ready to tape it up? Sounds like a job for the Mythbusters' favorite engineering cure-all. But surely it's a stretch. Replacing the aircraft's $13,000 aerodynamic fabric covering with a few rolls of five-buck duct tape. And while Carrie and Tori focus on the fuselage, Grant concentrates on the crucial control surfaces. So we've done a lot of damage to this plane, both to the fuselage and the tail section. But this right here, this is the most important part. This is called a horizontal stabilizer. This is called a vertical stabilizer. They're called stabilizers for a very important reason, because they keep the plane stable. Stability and steering are obviously priorities when fixing a plane, but a strategy to stay intact in flight is fairly important, too. All right, the way we're repairing the plane, we did one skin of duct tape going vertically, and now we've covered it with another skin going horizontally. This way it is in line with the travel of the plane, because we don't want any edges to get caught on the wind and unravel what we have made. We'll have this done before the bear returns. It's certainly a quick fix. The question is, will it have the necessary structural integrity for a stable flight? Will they come unstuck? With the finished fix-up looking airworthy, there's only one way to find out. Next myth, can duct tape fix a pilot? Been good knowing you. Nice knowing you. Despite the danger of the duct tape coming unstuck in the 90 degree heat, they won't be rushing into anything. We're gonna do this the safe and methodical way. So if this thing goes south, we all run, right? Run is the plan? Yeah. And that is first. James is gonna taxi up and down the runway just to make sure all the control services are okay. So far, so good. I don't see any duct tape whipping in the wind. Once he's comfortable with that, then he's going to take it up for the real flight. With several cautious runs up and down the runway, happy that everything feels right, James gives the signal that he's ready to try this for real. This is it. Will the temporary sticky solution survive the rigors of flight? Is it really possible to fix your plane with duct tape? There he goes. This guy is insane. When you were survival, you'd have to do it, right? Oh. It worked! We fixed the plane with duct tape. Well, see if it holds. It totally works. Dude. Let's hope, right. let's hope it does hold. <laughs> yeah, yeah we're going to circle a little bit first. Let's make sure it holds, because things can still go wrong. Carrie's correct. Getting off the ground is one thing, returning to it safely is another. One interesting thing is that the duct tape is actually flapping a lot more than the Dacron, so I don't know how long you could actually fly like this. Yep, the airflow across the striped, uneven surface is causing the duct tape to shudder and ripple. Hope it doesn't shake apart. But James is apparently having no trouble maintaining altitude or making controlled maneuvers. And there's no sign that duct tape is delaminated. It's looking pretty stable right now. And when flight time ticks over the 30-minute mark, the team is confident they can call the result. This is awesome. This is one more confirmed myth for duct tape. Bear mauls a plane, you can fix it with duct tape and get it back in the air.
How cool is this? I mean, we have done a lot of things with duct tape, but never have we done something that is so important as keeping an aircraft in the air. This one is totally confirmed. It hey, works! That's great! Thank you very much. That was awesome. <laughs> Pixie, you're playing with duct tape. Confirmed. Stay away from bears. <laughs>